Hello my dear friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you about check whether the given number is Armstrong number or not using device input method. First of all, what do you mean by Armstrong number? It is the number that is equal to the sum of cubes of its digits. Say for example, let me take the input as 153. You have to take the individual digits and cube it. Right? 1 cube now is 1, 5 cube is 125, 3 cube is 27. You have to sum it up. Final answer you are getting is 153. Right? So, it is similar to the original value. So, so this number is said to be as an Armstrong number. Let me quickly explain about it using the program. You are having two programs here. You can use any of the programs you are familiar with. I am here with the solution for with C language as well as Python language, right? So, I am going to explain each and every line now. Include stdio.h. The meaning of that is it is going to import the standard input and output device inside the program, right? So, it, anyway, it is going to ask, enter the number, we are going to provide the input using the keyboard, right? So, just we are importing the standard input and output device for that purpose, okay? Second line. Only after seeing this main function, your execution will start. For any C programming language, the starting line is main function. Clear? Fourth line is, we are just declaring the variables that we are going to use. We are initializing the sum value as 0. Right? And afterwards, printf statement and scanf statement. In this, in this line alone, you are using the device input method. Device input method is nothing but that input will be given by the user. Clear? So, the, this printf statement will ask the input from the user. It will print, enter the number in the output screen. As a user, you will view the input. Clear? Yeah. So, next, scan of statement will scan the input from the user. Okay? See, enter the number will just print. You can see, again, I am executing the program. I am giving the value 153. The meaning of that is, whatever the input that I am giving, it is printed in the output screen okay so this is this is said to be as a scan of method clear next temp is equal to n we are just declaring this n value that is we are assigning the n value to the temporary variable okay let me quickly explain it while n is, is greater than zero it is checking whether 153 is greater than zero yes it is true 153 is greater than zero it will move inside the loop and it will start its execution. Now, what is the value of R? R is equal to N modulo 10. N modulo 10 is nothing but the remainder value. 153 modulo 10. What is 153 modulo 10? You will have the remainder value 3. Right? 15 tens are 150. So, remainder you are having 3. Right? So, then what is sum value? In the next line, sum value, how it will calculate in the sense sum is equal to sum plus R star R star R. The meaning of that is what is initially sum value? Sum value is 0 and then it will sum, sum with R value. So, R value is 3 star 3 star 3. Right? So, what is the sum value finally? Is equal to 0 plus 3 into 3 into 3 is nothing but 27. Clear? So, 27. Next, N is equal to. What is the N value here? n is equal to n by 10. n, n value is 153 divided by 10. Okay. So, what is the division value now? Quotient is 15. 15 tens are 150. Right. Now, n becomes 15. Clear? Initial n value is 153. After this loop execution, the value will be 15. Clear? Now, your loop has not been ended because the n value is greater than 0. Again, the loop will execute. Go for execution. Second loop execution is now n is equal to 15. It is greater than 0. Right? So, 15 is greater than 0. Again, it will go for execution. What is r value? r is equal to what is r value? n that is 15 modulo 10. 15 modulo 10 is nothing but reminder is 5. Right? So, 10 once are 10, remainder is 5 is the value that we will get. Right? What is sum value now? Sum is equal to sum star, sum plus r star, r star, r. Right? So, what is previous sum value? It is 27. Right? 27, 27 plus 
what is r value now 5 right 5 star 5 star 5 right so finally what is the answer here you will get it is nothing but 152 okay that is nothing but 152 now what is the value of n n is equal to n is equal to 15 divided by 10 what is the answer quotient is 1 1 tens are 10 and quotient you will get is 1 clear now it will move for next execution n value is equal to 1 now it will check whether the n value is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 it will go for execution now r is equal to what is r r is equal to n modulo 10 that is 1 modulo 10 okay so 1 modulo 10 here what is the value there is no reminder right so it r value stops with this it will go for summing up sum is equal to what is previous sum value it is 153 right so 152 sorry 152 plus what is r value now 1 right so r value is reminder is 1 okay so 1 modulo 10 1 divided by 10 here now no quotient is there only reminder that is 1 so 1 star 1 star 1 here yeah. so now what is the value 152 152 plus 1 star 1 star 1 the meaning of that is 1 cube 152 plus 1 cube is 153 right finally it will go for out of the loop because we are having n is equal to n divided by 10 okay so since you are having less than 1 right it will go for execution of if okay so what is if now temp is equal to is equal to sum what is the temp value initially we have assigned temp is equal to 153 is the value we have assigned right so now it will go for checking whether the temp value is equal to is equal to sum what is the final sum value we have got it is nothing but 153 so 153 is, is equal to 153 now the answer is correct print of in a print of statement it will print the one one five three is Armstrong number okay so if you are not getting the equal values of temp and the sum it will go for execution of it is not an Armstrong number this is all about the C programming the same concept applies here in a Python programming all the logics are same right only the syntax differs you can see we are assigning the number to the temporary variable we are checking whether the temp is equal to zero we are performing the modulo operation here here sum plus is equal to digit star star three the meaning of that is it star star in the sense it is cap digit cap three sum plus is equal to the meaning of that is expansion of expression is sum is equal to sum plus digit cap three here and temp slash slash equal to 10 in the sense temp is equal to temp divided by 10. Okay. All other things are similar to the C programs I have explained. If you are having any doubts, you can comment it below the comment section so that I can help. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.